everybody, it's Melanie from TheHedonistCook.com. Tonight I'm going to be doing a video on making apple dumplings, which is super easy. You might have everything right now that you need to make it with. So if you need to look at the recipe, it's online. It's for six. We're only going to be doing two here because I don't need to make six apple dumplings. But um, you can check out that recipe, get all your ingredients together, peel and core your apples, and we'll get started. So you'll probably notice that I'm not in my kitchen, I'm in someone else's kitchen, so I'm pretty excited. There's lots of space, there's a full stove. What I'm doing right now is I'm heating up the water, the vanilla, and the butter that's going to go and pour it over the apple dumplings when we're done. So I basically just have it on medium high, it's not too exciting. We're just going to heat that up, we're going to boil it for five minutes, and basically what we're making is um, like a simple syrup. Oh, there's sugar in there as well. So. We're making a simple syrup with some butter flavoring. We're gonna reduce it down a little bit. The next thing is, you can see in the recipe that I said pie crust. I was on my way to someone's house. I didn't have time to make it. So I got this like, it's like 250 man, it was super cheap. And it comes with two nine inch pie crusts. So that should be enough for about four apple dumplings. And I know that we like to make stuff from scratch here in the Hedonist Cook, but what I like about this recipe is that even if you don't have time to make it from scratch, you can still do it. So I took an apple, I cut it in half, I peeled it. And unless you have an apple core, it's a lot easier just to cut it in half and remove the insides. So we're gonna set it in like that. And we are going to stick some butter inside. And again, I put amounts, but use as much as you want. This is a nutmeg, cinnamon, and brown sugar mixture. Don't worry about getting it all inside because it's supposed to be on the outside a little bit. I always like to put two things of butter in there just because it's really over the top. We're going to stuff that in as well as we can. Make sure to hold the apple pieces together so that it doesn't squirt out the sides. And we can sprinkle some on the outside as well. Then we're just going to fold this up basically. Um, it's a little bit short on one side. Make sure your dough is nice and soft so you can pull it up as needed. Once you have it all covered, just pinch the sides together, pinch the top together. Make sure that your apple is all the way covered. It doesn't need to look super pretty. It's supposed to be a really rustic dessert. But as you can see, it takes like 20 seconds to make one of these, which is pretty awesome. So definitely make sure that you're pinching the top together so that dough is going to stay together. And just take your hands, pack it together like this. So it's pretty straightforward. We are going to wait for the um, we're going to wait for the sauce to get done, and we're going to do the other apple dumpling, and then we're going to show you how to put it all together. So now that you have all of your apple dumplings made, what it should look like is like this. They kind of look like baseballs apples covered in dough and you have your glass dish you can do an 8x8 if you're just doing two if you're going to do six you want to do a 9 by 13 so it has room and hopefully you've greased it because this sticks really bad so we just want to put this in here and we have been boiling <clears throat> we have been boiling this for about five minutes so it's reduced down a little bit that's just sugar water butter and vanilla and we're gonna pour this over it. It's gonna end up creating a really amazing sauce as it cooks in the oven. And that's it. We're gonna stick it in the oven for 50 to 60 minutes and when it comes out, it is gonna be amazing. Okay, so we'll be back in a few minutes to see what that looks like. So I just pulled our apple dumplings out. We did them for about 50 minutes at 400 and they came out looking great. As you can see, they split open, which kind of sucks, but um, the reason they did that was because we cut the apples in half. And the reason I cut the apples in half is because I don't have an apple core. They're not that expensive, I just don't have one. I'm not cooking at my house and um, boys apparently don't buy apple cores, so we did what we needed to do. But it's okay because when we plate it, we're gonna plate it in a bowl and we can definitely nestle it and make it look kinda like this. But if you're looking for great presentation, just 
break down, buy an apple core, and then keep your apples whole. So we want to let this sit for a few minutes. It's 400 degrees and this is a simple syrup so it's really really hot. You definitely wouldn't want to serve it this hot because everyone would burn themselves and it would make the ice cream melt. So we're going to let these sit out for 5 or 10 minutes and then we're going to see how they taste. Okay, our apple dumplings are done. They look amazing as you can see. You definitely want um, vanilla ice cream to go with it. So we took some of the sauce that was left over and poured it over the top and even though it was split down the middle if you put it in a deep dish you can't tell so we're gonna bite into it Let's see if you can see the apple is totally melted or softened I guess would be the right word and delicious mm, very excited <laughs> mm. it's so good even with the um, already made pie crust, it's still delicious. The last time I made it, I used my own crust because I was at home, so I had everything I needed, but we made this in, what, five minutes? And um, it's delicious and people will love it. So once again, thank you so much for checking out my video. If you want to see more stuff, you can always go to my website, thehedonistcook.com. Thanks.